video we're going to install another library and this library is for creating effect. If you go down to video 13, click on documentation and this will send you to the documentation on NGRX effects. And what effects are really good for is handling different actions depending on different interactions that you have. And we'll be getting into that. They're really useful. But before we can actually use effects, we need to install the library. Go to NGRX effects and click on installation. And I'm running Angular 9 in this project. So I'm going to use this last one here. Copy this and let's get this installing. In the terminal, paste and install. While this is installing, let's see how we could generate a new effect file. If we go back to the documentation, we'll generate the file by using NGRX schematics like we did with our actions and reducers and click on schematics and effect and copy this. And we'll also use a few options or a few flags. We'll use the slash slash module to tell it which module to configure it to. And if you do not want to use the for feature, like this is for like substates. If you want to use the for root, and in our case we do because we're going to be configuring this to our main app module. So we're going to also use this flag and set that to true. That means we're going to use the for root instead of the for feature. And then also I'm going to use the slash slash API. I'll set that to true and also the skip test. So we'll use about four options all together. Let's generate this new file in the terminal. We successfully installed it. I'll open up another terminal, paste in our line of code, and then we'll put it inside of our global store, this new file, and in the new folder called effects, we haven't created that yet. And I'll call it the same that we called our action file. And then we'll use our first option that will be module, and we're gonna apply this to our main app module file. And then slash slash root, very important, set this to true. API, also true. And last but not least, skip test. And let's do a dry run, just in case we made any mistakes. And here I'm getting this error. I don't know why I get this error, because we already installed NGRX schematics. But just uh, reinstall it, that fixes it for me. So we'll reinstall NGRX schematics. So ng add and then paste, hit enter. And yes. And that should fix the error for us. Now, if you hit up and up and hit enter, that should run without a problem. Yes. And yes. And if we run this command, we should generate a file within our effects file called customer support effects, perfect. And also it's gonna make some changes to our main app module. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's clear this out. Let's run the command by removing dry run. And I'll say yes to everything again. All right, and here's our brand new file. Let's check that out. Go inside of this store and open that up. And now I'll close this down. The file that's generated for us were automatically important a couple things for us. And the actions is a service. And as you can see, it's being brought in here. And this is how we're gonna get all of our dispatched actions. And then the create effect, as it says in the name, that's how we're gonna create an effect. So let's do that in the next video. We'll create our first effect.